What's going on everybody? Ultra Fatality here and we're going to be showing off Lucas Lee today. He's the second Evil X in the League of Second Evil Xs. I said he's the second Evil X in the League of Second Evil Xs. What the hell? I just woke up and decided to do this video right away while I can while everything's still quiet and everybody's still sleeping all that good stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and get straight to it. So let's show off his basic movements. You know, running, walking, back dash and crouch, all that good stuff. Now my Lucas can only jump once. I know um, Matthew Patel can jump twice, but as stated in, even in the comic books, in the game, in the movie, he can levitate. So which is why I let him jump, double jump. But Lucas, Lucas doesn't have that. Lucas just has like super strength pretty much. So I allow him just to have really one, one really big high jump. And you'll see another reason why I did that too a little further down the line. But oh uh, yeah, that's his basic movements, basic attacks, it's helpers. Need to add an explosion sound to that, but Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh wait, hang on. Crouch attacks. I'll show you what everything does. Alright, so there's basic attacks. There's combos now. That's all light punch, heavy punch. Juggles for air combos, then combined. Oops, I missed. Damn, why am I sucking right now? This is... No, that's pretty much it for his basic combos. Now let's get straight to special moves now. Just one big heavy punch at the moment. Here's the EX version of the punch. Yeah, it sends him in a stun state so he can keep doing combos. Uh, second special attack. I really liked the fact that he used stunt devils in the movies. This was st taken straight off the movie because I know in the game he couldn't do this and he wasn't as much of a dirty fighter and stuff. The movie they made him seem like more of a dick, more of an evil jackass. But in the comics, uh, Lucas isn't that even isn't that evil a guy? I mean, shit, if you like read the Scott Pilgrim comics, he, he even said to himself that they almost didn't let him join because he's not that mean of a dude. Mean of a dude? Duh. Mean, mean guy. What is wrong with me? Never record when I'm just waking up. That's the regular version. I'll show you the EX version now. Alright, and then his last special attack is Super Lock. Now this Super Armor Code, I got this Super Armor Code from uh, an old friend of mine who doesn't do Mugen anymore, which me on, which was Games Masters. And I don't know if you guys remember him, uh, hopefully y'all do, I try to keep him alive, but I got this Super Armor Code from him. I don't know where he got it, but he, he sent me a character, I don't remember, I think it was a Juggernaut character, or one of his... Uh, <laughs> Bad bro, kids from Golden Axe. I don't know who it was, but they had a super armor code that works pretty well, so I decided to keep it. The reason why I gave him super armor for a special attack is he always boasts about how tough he is. Now, the EX version of super armor, when you do it, just gives him health, it just gives him extra health and stuff. So he got super armor still. Well, during the startup, he gets a little bit of health. And of course I made it so you only can do one of them uh, just yeah. once. Oh wait, the skateboard. Yeah, that's his um this is his uh his uh C attack or I guess this can say his heavy punch attack. Because Lucas is technically two buttons, but his third punch button summons a skateboard. So skateboard equip, he becomes way, way more better of a fighter. He takes more damage, he's a lot faster. So let's show off some of his special moves and attacks. So here's the basic attack with the skateboard. The same combo uh, properties and everything. Just more damage pretty much. Damn, I am sucking today. Oh, this is another reason why he got one jump. You guys can see it. 
happen so he jumps up the skateboard follows him. When he had two jumps at the time, he used to drop like two skateboards and it used to look retarded weird. So the only way Lucas can get out of his skateboard stance is he can get hit in it. If you guys wonder why he's not doing any animation, for some reason his when he gets punched in the stomach like that, it glitches out every now and then. So you see it's working right here, but then it's not working right there. So it's a weird bug that I can't for the life of me fix, so at this point I just pretty much gave up and said fuck it, I don't even care anymore. But the only way he can get out of his skateboard mode is if he deliberately drops it or gets knocked down. And speaking of getting knocked down, hang on. Of course he gotta have his get up attack as well. Let's get the skateboard back. Oh, if you call an skateboard, this is what happens if you try to call an skateboard get hit. You won't pick it up and he'll ride right past. And this is another thing that happens when you put the skateboard down the little one. Alright, let's get the skateboard back up and it's showing off these moves. So, with the skateboard, his only new special move uh, is his riding. So I'm going to show you exactly what happens. You ride past. Oh, jump over you. No problem. Turn around. You can jump. You can turn. Go forward, jump over projectiles, and my favorite, throw it right at the guy. Use it as a projectile if you want to. So the skateboard, once you got that skateboard equipped, all hell can break loose if you know what you're doing. So I'm going to try to show off, before I go to his super, show off a little, my best combo I can do with uh, him without the skateboard and with the skateboard. That's all I can really do. Damn, nerf that damage. But that's all I can really do without the skateboard. Now, with the skateboard, I can do a lot of shit with it. And uh, another way how you can set up a skateboard by connecting with his throw. Now, if you're wondering what his throw is, well, it's just a basic toss in the air. And it's also another rip from the comics as well. In the comics, uh, right when he first fights Scott, he not only does he just punch the shit out of him, he just grabs him and just do like this little freaking giant king style swing across right to a chasm. But since he doesn't have those type of sprites to have him spinning around and launching, I'll just have him just throw you in the air and launch him in the air or some shit. Alright, the throw sets up for a skateboard. What else can you set up for a skateboard? The basic combo, when he's in the air. And that's pretty much it. And um, the knockdowns and stuff. Gee, but I recommend just doing the basic combo. But let's get into these skateboard combos I can do. See, that's what you can do with this skateboard. Now, let's see if he wasn't in the corner. Another one of my favorite combos to do. Whoops. Messed it up. Also, another thing I forgot to show off with the skateboard. If you're in trouble, like if you can't get past something, you can cancel the skateboard. Just like that. So if somebody's if you see something coming at you that you know you can't jump over, if you're quick enough, you can cancel it and get right back into guard state. But yeah, let's finish showing off these combos really quick. Damn it, I am messing up. See, with the skateboard, you got so much potential for combos and do massive damage. Also, another thing I'm going to show you what the skateboard does, it changes some of his special moves. So he got the ride, but this is his counter type with the skateboard. You know, it does a little bit more damage. EX version. And then, um, as far as EX punch, he still has that to do knockout blows. So I decided to keep that in there, unless I think it's something better. But at the moment, I'm just going to keep him have that stun punch with both skateboard and without. Now, let's get straight to supers. So his first super is just a basic powerful attack. I 
Or if you miss it, he's saying, if you wonder why it takes so long, he's obviously texting after he uppercuts you. Now he's level two. I got inspired by that, like he was signing autographs and stuff. He's like, come on now, we're signing autographs and shit. And then finally for his level three. Uh, and the level three was also a direct rip from the both comics and the movie and the game. Except for that. That was just me being funny. So if anybody have if people don't know what the hell just happened just now. So, and the way how Scott beat Lucas, he challenged him to go down the rail with 200 steps and to grind down it. And um, both in the comics, movie, games, and all that shit, he always failed. And in the comics and in the movie, in the game, Rip the Rail was nowhere near as long. But in the comic and movie, the, he had to go. He went like, I think, freaking uh, 309 kilometers or so, whatever KPH means, I don't remember. And once he hit that mark, he they died too fast to live, as they say. So I tried to have it so he'd go just under it, 308, or maybe go past the stuff. And with that super... Um, I freaking love it, man. Even Sensei Ryan said he loved it, so that's two supers that I made that Sensei Ryan loved. So that, that, that means a lot to me. But no, um, I want to add a little bit more special effects and stuff because uh, he said, he told me I should leave it as is. And I'm like, no, I want to add a little bit more. I don't want him to just be driving stupid fast and getting faster and faster. I want to add like crazy, like how I added that Sonic to it. I want him to add, all, I want to add all types of stuff and everything. So, uh, with that being said, let's go to the skateboard variations of the supers. So, I'm going to show you one more time, just the regular one. Yes, he can fall on the skateboard too, if you time it right. It is skateboard version of it. And then, um... That's really the only one that changes. His level two is the same, and his level three is the same. But as far as his level one, that's that's the only thing that's different. And um, I think that's pretty much does it for Lucas. Like, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Oh, and also this fun little thing I'd like to do. I mean, like like they're gonna let you do this, but uh, it's a little minefield up on oh, the corner. Hold this for me. Yes. Don't worry, this, this skateboard is impossible to kill somebody unless they got like really low health or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for Lucas. Now we can show off his win poses, his lost pose, and all that good stuff, and that's pretty much it. Yep. So guys, Lucas is going to be released really soon, probably, probably this week before December because um, he's pretty much done. The only problem I've been having is uh, I I can't, I've been trying to find lots of bugs. I feel like there's something missing. There's something wrong. But I sent them to a few people to test, and they say they can't see anything wrong. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to release them now probably today or tomorrow maybe after this video drops and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys so just yeah. stay out your fatal i'll see y'all soon Mine.